Do you guys know what um, attachment uh, um, attachment styles are? Are you guys familiar with Some this? Some of it, like of Some of it, yeah. So what you guys are explaining is um, basically theorized in attachment styles, which is actually more, and my opinion is more accurate than love languages. So basically, what you're saying is, you're basically coming off as a fearful avoidant. You're also coming off as a fearful avoidant, and so basically, there's four different attachment styles. There's anxious attachment style. There's um, fearful avoidant, there's avoidant, and then there's secure. You want to go through each one of them, like examples? Yes, because what because what you guys explained is like the push and pull and push and pull. Mm -hmm. That's actually one of the the, um, the primary things within attachment styles that basically could dictate whether or not you can get a person or not, mm -hmm. right? And so usually what happens, it's, it's how you're raised. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of different type of factors that factors into what your attachment styles, and they can change as you get older. So some people are anxious and anxious people are the type that are very very needy they are uh, have the fear of abandonment they have like basically they're always on your stuff they're always in your ish basically you mean like hey, codependent exactly codependency yeah. at least the codependency and they get really really attached to you because they're so anxious yeah. that they're going to lose you or that you're basically yeah, yeah. you know that's, that's they're very very anxious you know and they um they chase they're always the chaser yeah, yeah. And then the opposite is um, our avoidance. Avoidance are the ones who are basically kind of distant. They're yeah. kind of, they always need their space. I'm not explaining it like down to the T and everything, but right. yeah, you know, but like basically the avoidant ones are there, like they're afraid of commitment and stuff like that. Right. And also generally speaking, when you're avoidant, you don't want too much attention like that. You like, yeah. I, you don't suffocate me. Yeah. And they're always the runner. Yeah. You're always the runner. And then you have yourself the fearful avoidance. You're basically kind of the hybrid. You either lean more anxious or you lean more um, avoidant. Yeah. But you generally change so that they can. So initially, so say that like I was pursuing you, Ashley, mm -hmm. and say I was fearful avoidant and you're anxious. Yeah. So they would be texting, we talking, we vibe and you know, you f we feeling each <laughs> other and all that stuff. Right. And you're anxious. So yeah. that means you're like, oh, let's hang out, yeah. we're free, blah, 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 all this. Yeah. And I'm fearful of avoiding, but I lean anxious, meaning I'm basically going to be reciprocating that right. and saying, hey, let's hang out, all that yeah. stuff. But as time goes on, my avoidant nature takes over and yeah. I start pulling away and yeah. you become the chaser and I become the runner. Yeah. You know, but they say that, oh, the fourth one is secure. Secure is the ones you basically, you know, just like the word is secure. Yeah. yeah. Right. So basically, if you're secure, if you pull away, if you run away, yeah. I'm like, go ahead. I don't care. Yeah. If you're avoidant, sorry, if you're avoidant and you run away and then, oh, sorry, if you're anxious and I'm secure, mm -hmm. I don't care. Yeah. You can be anxious. You're yeah. very, very secure in yourself. So you don't have to run or chase. Yeah. I was going to say, just to play like a little bit of devil's advocate here, secure is great and all, but like at the same time. Just saying that, you know, when you explain it like that, you make it sound like you're really vanilla. I know you're not vanilla if you're secure, but I'm just saying, like, part of the excitement of, like, getting to know someone is, like, I don't know, like, some of the games, you know? Like, yeah. like a little a little back and forth action. Like, yeah. otherwise, if you're just like, hey, how was you? And you guys just talk, and it's just, like, very... It just seems uh, really dry. Yeah, if it's, like, really vanilla, if there's no excitement, that's what yeah. kind of gets you, like, to, like, a... Uh, when there's a little excitement or there's a little, I guess, avoidance or whatever you want to call it, it kind of stirs your imagination a little bit to, like, try different things. You know, that's that's when you come up with, like, that Riz. You know, you might <laughs> you might hit up on someone's Snapchat or you try to come up with, like, some line or you might, a girl might post the IG story or, like, a, something to, like, get some guy's attention. A guy might say something to a girl because he'd be like, is she feeling me? Let me see. And he'll say something that can be seen as flirtatious or not as flirtation, but if a girl responds to some flirtation, goes, oh yeah, she feeling me, but she doesn't, he'd be like, all right, then I'm going to just head out. I, I get you. Like I said, I'm not like an expert on this. I'm just telling you like my understanding of it. Yeah. But in general, like I say, like, like I generally see myself as very as secure attachment style. So like if I, if I talk to somebody that I am attracted to and I want to get to know, I'm going to pursue them. Yeah. Right. And if they run, I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not anxious. So I'm not going to constantly pursue you. Yeah. If you go away, I'm just going to leave it be. And I'm, I'm saying, all right, that's, I'm good. 